Well, here we are at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 at the Evo Power stand, and I'm standing in front of a beast of a machine. It's with Jamie Allen. So, Jamie, tell me about this. What is this thing? Uh, this is our latest product to, to bring to market, and it's called Neo. So this is a commercial and industrial energy storage system. Wow, okay, so you're moving from, I'm familiar with the Prime system, which is like a premium, you know, all in, well, a battery inverter system, uh, but it's pre-built, it's a BESS, so it's compliant with the CEC requirements for a, a Section 4 installation. Correct. Um, how does this fit into the roadmap? Uh, this is also a BESS system, uh, but it's really targeting the commercial and industrial space, so uh, starting at 100 kilowatt inverter increments up to you know, multi-megawatts, uh, and also battery storage from 250 kilowatt hours up to multiple megawatt hours as well. Wow. So really targeting a, a different market to our, our you know, current product solutions. So from 100 kilowatts of inverter power to, what's the high end? Uh, up to multiple megawatts. Oh, multiple megawatts. Yeah. So it's very, very scalable, both in terms of power and energy storage. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So we, we have standard uh, skid set up, so we could have a 100 kilowatt skid with our control panel, uh, but with that skid can also uh, support up to five of these inverters, so 500 kilowatts. And then we can do multiples of those to get megawatt, one and a half megawatts, two megawatts. Uh, so really flexible for different installations. It could be shopping centres, you know, bunning stores, or etc., or commercial buildings. So tell me a bit about the components in here. Uh, so there's a wide range of different um, key OEM manufacturers that we partnered with. Um, from a battery, battery point of view, uh, we're really proud to be uh, CATL, so C-A-T-L. Uh, they're Australian solutions pro provider and they've got a liquid cooled battery rack coming in at 250 kilowatt hours usable AC. Uh, again, that's scalable as I mentioned. Uh, we partnered with Delta uh, Electronics, so they've got the 100 kilowatt uh, PCS increment and they've worked with us very closely over the last year to make sure it's got all the features that we need for the Australian market. Uh, then additionally, we've got a, some really smart software uh, built in within our systems um, and PLCs and uh, controllers to be able to operate in you know, uh, different grid market services as well. So FCAS, Energy Arbitrage, uh, it's basically all the bells and whistles. So have you got your eye on the five minute settlement coming in in August? Uh, we do, yes, yeah. There's <laughs> obviously a, a lot happening in this space and we think these battery systems are perfect because uh, we can do the very fast under one second response uh, times. What about pairing with renewable generation? What's the options there? Uh, it's really flexible, I guess. Um, so our, our controller that we have built into the system, uh, it's been integrated with a vast range of existing uh, solar inverters, energy meters, uh, even uh, SCADA systems as well. So uh, yeah, basically it's RS-485 communications. We can see that on our monitoring portal, if it's you know, brand A or brand B solar inverter, uh, we can also control those, ramp them up and down as, as required. So in terms of uh, the scale, you're into the secondary protection requirements because it's a big system. Yeah. Is that built in or is that an additional uh, that, that That's additional. So it depends site by site. So mm -hmm. you know, it's going to vary. There may be multiple switchboards, so they may need it independently um, or they may have a big master one. Uh, so it's more working with, with the, the, the installer that's going to install the project. They're the ones that assess and put the right protection in place. It seems like you've taken everything from the domestic, the small unit, uh, what's the name of the small unit, which, which is the battery cabinet? Uh, M48 Select. So the M48 Select, which yeah. could be from a, a domestic system. Yep. The Prime, which is a big domestic small commercial. Small commercial, uh, yeah. Through to uh, what we've got here, which is the Neo. Yep. Uh, so CNI, is it another one? Uh, we are working on larger solutions as well, so megawatt uh, PCS in, in solutions. Uh, that would be for microgrid and, and off-grid and that's scaling up to 5 meg and, and beyond. So if I tweeted to you 100 megawatt hours in 100 days, you could probably do it? Uh, I'm not Elon, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so not, not, not at this stage, but no, no, we, we really see 5 megawatts and below for us uh, as our, our space um, at this stage. There's a lot of very big players uh, doing that. That's all right, I'll modify my utility. tweet. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to find the investors first. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Well, thanks, Jamie. I'm really excited by what you've been doing here. Thanks, and Well done, Evo Power. Yeah. Thanks for all your support. Okay, no Cheers. worries. Right. Cool.